Hi and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm not going to uh, talk about PF Sense today. We'll get back to that another day, I think. Um, so this time um, I'm going to just quickly show you how to set up uh, Nginx and PHP on uh, FreeBSD host. Um, this is something that I use in, in production. Found it to be rock solid um, and pretty easy to configure. So we'll, we'll just go through that. Um, and I'll quickly show you how to do that. So if we just jump into um, our terminal, um, I'm going to break out the old command line um, using putty to, to get into a free BSD ho host. Um, so here we go. So if we go to um, my uh, free BSD host, um, it is really simple. All I do is just type in package. update let's make sure everything is up to date which it should be because there's literally nothing on this host at the moment um there we go so nothing um package for those uninitiated is the package manager and installer on freebsd um so we just literally use pkg install engine x there we go. It'll add in any dependency that we need, and that's it. That's that installed. Um, so what we would next need to do is install PHP FPM. Um, which will be Okay, so there we go, let's clear the screen. Um, what we should now see is if we move into the configuration file directory, which should be, there we go. It's because we've got no modules installed. So what you'll see is PHP FPM and uh, the PHP.config files. Um, to enable these, we would use just a couple of commands, start up commands, which are nginx start, and it'll ask us to put an entry into the rc.conf, which is the startup script for FreeBSD. Um, so we'll just copy that. There's more than one way to skin a cat, but this is the way that I like to do it. So that that will be the one that enables Nginx. There we go. That will tell you what to set in your RC for PHP. So now, when we start Nginx, that's started, and let's start PHP FPM. There we go, so they're both started. So if we fire up our, there we go, so if we fire up our web browser, for eight, Maybe the wrong IP address, 105. There we go. So Nginx is now running. We need to configure PHP to, to run. Um, and to do that, we need to go back to our command line. And we need to just do a couple of uh, configuration changes to Nginx's scripts. 
Actually, there's one other thing we'll do while we're thinking about it. Yeah, one other thing. So we'll just add in some PHP extensions. There we go. We'll install a few of them. So if we restart PHP FPM, there we go. Then what we need to do is edit the www scripts there. So if we edit the www.conf, these are all of the defaults that are running on the www. So what we need to do now is just find a line that's saying listen. And there it is. So we're going to change that to listen to var run php 74-fpm.soc because that's a Unix socket. Right, once we've got the listen set, so we're going to set it as a var run php fpm.soc. The reason we're going to do that is um, most documents on the internet will tell you to put in the version there, but if we don't, this should work when upgrading to a newer version. Um, okay, so the next thing we need to do is the owner the listen owner. So we need to change that and the group and the listen mode. Once we've done that, we can restart PHP FPM. And what we should now see in var run is the fpm.soc, there it is, perfect, that's what we want. So what we need to do next is go into the Nginx configuration and set up Nginx to use PHP. So what we're gonna do is just put it into the default um, configuration file. Not the best place for it to go, but it's where it's going to go for now. Um, so let's look for the server block. And there it is. So we're going to put it in here. So we've got our listening, our server listening on port 80 with a server name of localhost. Um, Okay, so we're going to add a... Actually, you know what? Let's not do it this way. Let's create... Hmm. Yeah, let, let's create a virtual host, shall we, for this? So let's make a direction, a, a directory, and call it domains. Go into domains and let's make 
a configuration file called whatever the name of your host is. So let's, for this purpose, just call it by its IP address. Uh, 10.148.86.105.conf. And in here, let's put in a few little bits. So we're just going to specify the server block. So that's the access log. We want an error log. It will be pretty much the same, but we'll call it error log. And we want a root. We want a root. So let's use a local www engine x. That's where the, the root directory for engine x usually is on FreeBSD. Um, and then we want to Let's move this in a bit, make it a bit tidier. And then we want to tell it to use PHP. Now I've got this copied, so I'm just going to copy it. There we go. So there we go. So basically, what this is saying is that anything with a .php extension, this is what it wants it to do. So let's correct this. There we go. So CD, CD and back. Let's edit our Nginx configuration file. Tell Nginx to include um, the uh, configuration file that we've just set. So, to do that, we'll include the directory, which in this case is called mains. So that is 
pretty much it. Let's do a quick restart of Nginx. If we can find that command. It's there somewhere. Everybody makes mistakes. There we go. So that is now running. So if we go back to our web server we can see that that is now running let's just make sure that it's using php okay so we've got our test page here there it is we've created a quick test.php and there we go so what we have now is php running as php fpm on our Nginx on FreeBSD. Hope you find this useful. Um, as always, I've been Gary. If you like the, the video, give it a like. If you don't, click the other one. Um, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks very much. Take care.